For thousands of years, the Torres Strait way of life has depended upon its marine resources. The relationship between the islanders and the sea may have changed over time, but communities continue to look to the waters to boost their economic independence and strengthen their culture. Sea cucumbers, if sustainably fished, can play an important role in that process, now and for years to come. This bottom-dwelling animal goes by a number of local names, including Pislima, Sockfish, Abba, Bayat, Domboy, and the Indonesian Tripang. Bechtemer, strictly speaking, refers to the processed product once it's been cooked and dried. We are very fortunate that the Bechtemer resources in the Torres Strait are healthy um, compared to a lot of other parts of the world where the resources are being fished out. So, you know, we need to be very careful about maintaining these resources and keeping them sustainable for future generations. In late 2014, My Pathway, in an effort to build stronger communities, designed and developed sea cucumber fishing trainings in the central and eastern Torres Strait. The training focused on identification, handling and processing methods that ensure fishers can sell top quality product and therefore receive the best possible price. Since fishers are also the custodians of the resource, sustainable management was a key theme. So I've been really pleased with the, the level of participation. We've had a good mix from across the community of younger and older people and I think that's been really valuable in terms of transferring some of the, the, the past knowledge and applying it to the, the current fisheries. People you know, want to know how to make use of this resource and how they can turn it into an economic benefit for themselves and their families. Sea cucumber fisheries in the Torres Strait are now 100% owned by Torres Strait Islanders and are managed in partnership with relevant government agencies. Non-islander fishers can't fish the sea cucumber resources without negotiating access. This gives islanders real ownership of their sea cucumber stocks and provides an opportunity not only to boost their income and their local economy, but to keep a long-standing tradition alive. So, let's carry on to generation how our grandfather used to do sea slug, and we carry on from them, and I hope when my children time, they will do the same thing with sea slugs that carry that tradition of catching sea slugs. The Torres Strait isn't alone in fishing high-value sea cucumber. The same species are caught across the South Pacific, in Indonesia, as well as along the Queensland coast. While the marine environment in the Torres Strait is particularly healthy, it's how the product is caught, handled and processed that can give the fishers a real advantage over their competitors. Sean McAtamney is a Cairns-based seafood buyer, processor and exporter and was an instructor in the My Pathway training. The journey starts with the fishermen, it always does, it doesn't matter what fisheries product you're taking. If, um, you know, if, if one thing uh, can be measured coming out of this is that there's a consistent methodology or a method for how this pro product is processed by the various species and the cutting is done correctly and the preservation is done well, well then the overall outcome is, is uh, for, for these communities is, is that they represent a brand and that brand is Torres Strait, you know, Beach Demur product. You know, as buyers we're, we're going to obviously have a, a great deal of, of respect for the, for the product that we're handling. This video aims to give fishers the knowledge they need to build that Torres Strait brand and benefit from their sea cucumber resources, not just for now, but for generations to come. So here's what we'll look at. Sustainability, learning lessons from the past, the supply chain from the reef to the plate, why careful handling and processing is crucial for high quality product. How to identify high value species. How to handle sea cucumbers from the water to the boat and back to shore. How to gut and preserve the animals. And the pros and cons of selling wet and dried products.